Would you like to, at this point, though, defend yourself against these Florida State people, though? Yeah. Because although you have been in the college football world for so long, Kirk Herbstreit has no say in who actually goes in the college. He's not a part of the committee. Now, do I think he should be? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do I? Is that something that I will push for next year? And I think you should even think about it because if you're going to get blamed for everything that happens, you should at least have a seat at the table in which mm -hmm. it's happening. But Herb Street has no say. And an ACC athletic director is the chairman of the committee. So, and ESPN owns the ACC network. So, like everything that's being said, I think is kind of hypocritical. Now, I appreciate how mad Florida State fans are. I appreciate their passion, and I think we all believe that the system is flawed, and they got screwed. Like, it, it, it just, it, it's not fair what yeah. happened to them. With that being said, like, the things that are being said to you, I mean, granted, I've gotten a taste of it all year. Yeah, you know, these yeah. college football fans, what yeah. makes them great is also what makes the them potentially yep. impossible to deal with if you're a person that is lucky enough to be on college game day. Do, do you think... You know, maybe a little bit too far, some of these things that have been said about you and the character assassination that you kind of had over the last four days from these human beings. I don't, I don't, you know, I, I, if you, I'm used to some fan base at the end of the year being upset and telling me I've ruined the sport. So it's kind of part of it. But I'll just say this 28 I, years of that. I yeah. don't know how you the, do it. The, one, the one thing that gets overlooked is how much, you know, I, I think we all feel bad for the team. Yes. You know, it's it's not like there is a conspiracy to keep Florida State out. Mike Norvell, I consider a really good friend. I love their program. I'd love to see what they've been able to do to bring it back. Bobby Bowden is like a guy that I bow down to, you know, throughout his career. Went to his funeral. Love the guy. And I love their program. And I love their, their, their former players when I get around them. It's absolutely nothing to do with that. It's just following. If you want to change the bylaws that they follow. Which we are. 12 teams next year. Well, Thank no, God. no, I'm saying when you get, when I told Thank you guys when you get to a cluster of teams and they look at head to head and they look at conference championship and they look at injury to a player. Like if you don't think that that's right, then that's fine, but change the rule, like eliminate that as a thing. But right now that's a thing. So that's why I told you, like if Michael Penix got hurt for Washington in their last couple games and was removed and they were playing okay and they're winning and they finished undefeated, Michael Penix and Washington would be left out. And it has nothing to do with personally attacking Washington. It's just that's one of the oh, Could you Kirk, imagine how loud it would be about the Pac-12? But I'm just saying oh. that's one of oh. the Kirk, though, criteria. what do you think? Kirk, so. I don't want to cut you off, but what do you think about the people that say, well, they yeah, they craft the rules and the stipulations to no. so they can manipulate no. whatever teams they want in there? Well, no, they do. Uh, I think we, but but, but who, it's the committee. It's not they. Who is they? I don't know. I'm like asking they, you. I thought you were. They the, is the conference. Body. No, that they is the conference commissioners Maybe. collectively as a group. So you don't think that that if there's any conspiracy theories, you don't think that people would want Florida State's brand in in the a playoff. You're crazy. You know, if ESPN were choosing it, they'd have uh, every year it would be Ohio State, Alabama, Michigan, Notre Dame, Florida State, Texas, Alabama. Like, th those are the teams you would want in it if it's a conspiracy theory. It's simply the committee looking at what they were assigned. Here, thanks for giving your time. When you guys get done with this, here are the things we're going to look at. Rank the teams, and when you get to four or five teams that are in that cluster and you're trying to separate, we've given you, we, the conference commissioners, as a group we've given you what we want you to look at to try to differentiate these teams did any of them play head-to-head -head is one of the things are you a conference champion strength of schedule a common opponent and also this is another one injuries to one of their players that read the literature injuries to one of their players that could impact this team's performance in the postseason it's one of the things now if we want to eliminate that as a thing I'm all Here it is. That. Other relevant factors such as unavailability of key players and coaches that may have affected a team's performance during the season or likely will affect its postseason performance. And you see how they played against Louisville. Now the screen has gone black. We are back. They're trying to throttle so, us. So it's not about it's a personal attack against Florida State. We all love Florida State. It's just if you follow the criteria of what they have, then that's what you come up with. And if we want to eliminate and change that for next year, I know there's 12 teams, that would be great. The great news is there's 12 teams next year. We'll be arguing about 11, 12, 13, and 14 next year. There'll still be people pissed off. It's just kind of the, the way the sport is. But uh, the, the notion that ESPN or you or me or anybody is out to get Florida State, it's low-hanging fruit that people want to try to get clicks and people want to get likes. They want to get views. No, but they they're, also want to drum up. Yeah, like they want to drum up there stuff is. that's not 
real. And yeah, just, you're taking it on the shins, though, for this committee. I, has I the committee and given I, you like a gift? Have they like said like, hey, hey, Kirk, thanks for going out there. I didn't know I voted on it. Um, I had an opinion like you had an opinion and AJ and Connor. Everybody has an opinion. It's subjective. It's not like the NFL. It's like, OK, we got this tiebreaker in the NFC South. OK, this team and this team, they're tied. How, you know, I don't know, whatever it is. OK, let's look at head to head or, you know, their, their record within the division. There, there's ways there's no cons- there's no arguments at the end of the NFL season in college football it's subjective and a lot of people don't understand the cluster and what you know all these people that are upset do they ever break down when they get to a cluster of teams this is what the committee ha- is asked no. to follow no. have you ever heard that no Why would they do when that? people bitch and complain no they, well, yes, they don't like cheating they don't like facts <laughs> They don't like oh. information. They like well, conspiracy theories. Now you, well. you're kind of taking a shot. At <laughs> who's they? Who's they? Who's they? Who's they? Who's they? Yeah. The people yeah. that are that are radical <laughs> and upset and yeah. throwing conspiracy theories out there that aren't true. Easy. That, that's easy. they. That's who they is. Well, c word, con. Yeah, man. I know e- you heard that. Easy on, on, on the c word, Kirk. We don't think it's cool. It sucks. That that is what happened. But it's I feel like bad, really bad for Mike Morgan and the players. Well, agreed. We we all do. But there's also a lot of people that did not watch college football all year. Now, like, and I know that because some of the things that they're saying, it's like you you did not watch football this year. You did not yeah, watch. It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity. They cashed in on it. Well, that's what Tone Diggs was all mad about. Tone, I, I, what, Tone, uh, Tone good job by you. you well, now your big thing, it's like, hey, if you're a Florida State alumni, we understand you get mad, yeah. but there's a lot of people like utilizing this to grandstand. And it's like, yeah. Yeah. hey, I understand you could just tee off more specifically on Kirk Herbstreit, but it's like, Kirk Herbstreit didn't have a vote in this thing. And he is the representation of the committee now in everybody's eyes down there in Tallahassee when this guy was one of their biggest fans for a long time. Yeah. It, yeah. I mean, they were high horsing it. And, but my thing was like the committee also gave them fuel by putting Florida State ahead of Georgia and then saying yeah. Bama was in because of, of best team, which it is. It's supposed to be best team. But I mean, you can't say you can't have Florida State ahead of Georgia. Then, if you're just going by yeah, the best team, that's like, fair. If they would have put Florida State at six, I don't know if it would have been as it, it would, wouldn't have gone it, over well. Yeah, but it, it, but it, it would have it would have been consistent with their with Correct. what they what the, what what they did. That, but I've been saying this. I've been saying this for the last like few days. Georgia, Florida State national championship game. Yep. Yeah, but there it is. If I'm Florida State, that's yeah. how I'm viewing it. And if you know, wow, what a game that's going to be. Georgia back-to-back national champion. They have a, oh, every right to be mad. Both teams have a chip on their shoulder. Now I don't know who's playing. Playing, you know, based on sitting out bowl games, transferring, uh, who knows? But just the two brands on the field together. Uh, I think a lot of people are very excited to see that. And if Florida State has a real opportunity to say, see, I told everybody, look how good our football team is. And uh, Georgia, like you said, back-to-back yeah. back national champion. 29 yeah. straight wins. Yeah. Never been done before. Yeah. And then they lose one neutral site by three. See, you can't even yeah, defend no, your championship. I, we didn't hear anything from, from Georgia, you know, at least, you know, at this level, as far as being upset that they – didn't have a, a you know an argument. You did, I didn't hear much. Did you hear much no, from Georgia? No, well, I've heard a lot from Georgia. Oh, well, yeah. oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, and then you did the thing at, in Atlanta. Atlanta. That was nice. How long did you plan that? Was that like day of? Or? No, well, I didn't know. Or did you think all year of that? Yeah. Well, you know, I don't. I don't know. Big time wrestling stuff. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> it was so it, good. It, it was. It was a good time. He wrestled good time pig, out Kirk. Yeah. Yeah. That was back in uh, fresh out of college. I was 21 years old there, and obviously I was undefeated all the way up until I was 30 uh, against Adam Cole mm. and. NXT. I don't know Goldberg. I don't know how long he was undefeated for, but I was certainly undefeated in professional wrestling for a while. So that scumbag Adam Cole ruined it at NXT in front of nobody. But um, <laughs> yeah, I think I liked Bama in the game, just strictly because we picked them preseason to win it all. Not not because of that. Okay. I am not as. Uh, but that would be cool. It does help. Cool. Yeah. yeah, does yeah. help. That yeah. Would make does us, yeah. That would, feel good about that. That would make us look pretty good. But yeah. if you look at what their team has done since that Texas loss, it's like the last eleven games. And Saban even talked about it. It's like. They've become a wagon. Now the Auburn game certainly a close call, yeah. but that's Iron Bowl, and that's okay. I don't I don't understand it as much because I didn't that's, play. In that's it. rivalry football. You know, in the it's SEC. Like Florida State deserves a lot of credit. People think, ah, it's Florida. They're out down year. You know what? I called that game going to the swamp that night. And the emotions of that game with a backup quarterback, for them to just get out of there with a win was really impressive. Huge. Yeah. But I like the wagon that was Alabama. I like yeah. their team. So I yeah. just thought, and also going into that game, Saban 4-1 and one against Kirby. You know, yeah. I love Kirby. Very thankful for Kirby stopping by game day. He was also on our program. Great He's been very nice to us and yeah. the game day. But, like, Saban has been 4-1 and one against him. Where his team was headed, it just loves felt- being an underdog, too. 
you know, he never gets to be an underdog, and his players feed off all year. Him. Yeah. All year, because Texas, yeah. they got ruled out pretty yeah. much. And so. the USF game might have been worse than the Texas yep. game, even though they won. Mm-hmm. They, they went to another quarterback. That didn't work out. Then they're like, Jalen, <laughs> hey, man, we're, we're kidding. You, 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 come on, yeah, come you on come on back. back. Come on back. You're and our then, guy. They didn't and throw the Jaylen. ball in. They threw the ball six times or something against yeah. like Texas a and I think Tommy he, Reese, the job he did as an OC coming over from Notre Dame, where they were, Texas, USF, and then they start to kind of find a little bit of an identity. Then Jalen Milrow becomes one of the great stories this year in the country. And then us getting to talk to Saban every single week, it's like I feel like we get a chance to feel the vibes of what the team is. So I like them. But the reason why it went down the way it went down. Yeah, the, yeah, the wrestling part. Is because those two old hags try to kick me out of that restaurant. Uh-huh. Now. They didn't. They were and, kidding. And they were not. And then all <laughs> the things that have been said to me all I'm year upset. from Georgia fans yeah. and everything like that, it was like, Okay, a little payback. Yeah, you know, in your yard too. You know, that was yeah. a lot of a lot of dogs there. So I hope they understand that I'm bad about it. I ain't scared of you. I have respect for your program, uh, but also all year, you, a lot of you have tried to make my life hell. Uh, you Georgia people. So it was fun. It was all in good fun. But what I've learned about college football, passion, it, and yeah, that's why. Like, passion. I know we've talked about the future of me on game day and everything like that. Oh, now you now let's open that up. I would like to open that up just strictly because like for me, sports are fun. Yeah. Like sports are fun. I grew up in NFL town and it's like, Hey, we talk shit. Like, Hey, that is sport. That is competition in college football. I don't want to say it's the softest group of fans, but it is, it is a fan base that gets very offended and gets very mean. They get very mean. Like they feel as if I've walked into their living room. That's what I say. Smacked right across the right in the mouth. And it's like, yo, I'm just talking, we're just talking sports here. And that's kind of how, so I'm not hundred percent sure if the way I live my life is one that is supposed to be one that is involved. I mean, you've experienced it here over the last week with these Florida state people. I have as well a little bit because of, you know, citing what the committee was picking off of. It's like, do I want to continue to do, in my life? I'm pretty positive life. The boys, we have a good time. I love you're, you're a great life. time. You're a great positive. life. You positive. Positive people. Positive, mm-hmm. like very positive. It's, and you like to bob and weave with people. Bingo. Not, like not, I like dance yeah. it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Always it's, it's, okay. Uh, Oh, this guy needs to die. Yeah. Like that's immediately what people yeah. say. And then yeah. like they, they like go and round up their friends. Like this guy's the worst guy of all time. Worst human and then in the history. Of then they're like history. banning, like boycotting a show that's been around for 30 years, even though we've had two highest rated years in the history back, of college. Back, yeah. Yeah. No, no, big deal. Yeah. no big deal. Think about that. You think tell about, me. Just, right. just, just think about that for a second where ratings normally, because there's so many options out there, normally ratings are going down in linear television back-to-back years for college game day with Hell their yeah. highest rated Hell yeah, boys. Work, boys. Hell history, yeah, boys. History of the show. Give me something. Give me something.